Collaborative writing and version control with text documents can be cumbersome. Usually what it involves is emailing files back and forth between users and then having to manually go track those versions and updates on other people's computers and within your own inbox. As developers, we use Git to track changes in our code when we collaborate. But what do lawyers, academics, or screenwriters have as a tool to manage the version control process on their documents? This is the problem that Sophia, Kenneth, Hannah, and I set out to solve with Archiver, a custom version control desktop application for text documents. So rather than having non-developers learn Git commands, we built our own version control functionality for Archiver, mirrored after Git, and we align that functionality with a UI that is really intuitive and simple to use. And now Sophia is going to walk us through how our app works. So to demonstrate our app's functionality, I'm going to walk through a user story as a writer collaborating with others on a manuscript. So when I enter the application, I immediately get a snapshot of all the manuscripts I'm currently working on, as well as a list of pending invitations from others who've invited me to collaborate with them on other manuscripts. So joining a project is as simple as clicking a button. And when we do, we immediately get added to that project to collaborate and download. So let's say I want to go ahead and add a new manuscript. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the following form and invite some collaborators. So when I click on the submit button, <laughs> I will see that that project is now added to my project list. So when I click on a manuscript, I get a complete version history of that manuscript with the most recent changes listed first, with the reason for the change as well as who made them. And I can also see the current and pending collaborators, as well as able to invite additional ones. So as I toggle through each change, I can see a version of that text rendered to the right. So let's say I joined a new project and I need a copy of that manuscript. I can easily download a copy and begin working. Or if I accidentally deleted a copy off my local machine, with the click of a button, I can easily restore it. I can also upload a new version up to the server, as well as open the manuscript with a text editor and edit the file directly through the application. So this means that I no longer have to pass drafts back and forth, and that the group's drafts are all saved in one location and easily reviewable should we need to go back to an earlier version. Now Kenneth will talk about the technical components of Archiver. So as we previously stated, we did not want to take a CLI approach to Archiver. Instead, we rewrote the version control logic out in JavaScript, giving us the ability to add or edit functionality that we saw need, needed to fit. Also, this let us do that without leveraging any external libraries or complicating the user experience. So the version control in Archiver begins with creating a local directory in the application called the Archive Directory. Much like Git, this directory leverages the use of objects to track versions locally within the application. These objects are just the mix of directories and files. The files actually contain information that we need to either render a page to the screen or a reference to another update that we want to use to do the same thing. Archiver also uses a relational database to persist version information between group collaborators. This database that Archiver uses is actually modeled after the archive directory that we just talked about. By creating an association between the information of users, projects, updates, and files, we're able to get update information as well as unique information for each update quickly and efficiently. To build Archiver as a desktop application, uh, we chose to use the Electron framework Many other well-known applications, such as Slack, Atom, and WordPress, were also built using Electron. By using Electron, we were able to build out unique components using React. In order to better manage those components, as well as how they communicate with each other, we also chose to use Redux. By the challenge of recreating what Linus Torvalds set out to do when he created Git was immensely rewarding. The experience we gained solidified our understanding of Git and all its complexities. We really enjoyed building Archiver and implementing all the technologies we've learned here at Fullstack, as well as discovering and learning new ones. Thank you so much for listening. <laughs>